Hi, I'm Steve Addison, a science specialist at Briarwood Elementary. I'm applying to the IPSF grant this year to bring an ocean experience to the classroom for Briarwood Elementary. My hope is that students are able to access the amazing ecosystems and understand living organisms in the classroom. I hope to partner with Nancy Caruso, a marine biologist, and also work with her organization, Get Inspired Inc., to study living things in our classroom this year. I'm Nancy Caruso. I'm a marine biologist and founder of the organization Get Inspired. And I work here in Orange County in 42 different schools over the last 20 years, teaching students about conservation, biology, kelp forest ecology, water chemistry, and aquaculture. I look forward to working with Brywood Elementary School in Irvine on a new project to help us with our abalone restoration project here in Orange County. We're restoring green abalone along our coast. Unfortunately, they've all been eaten over the last hundred years, and so we're trying to restore them by growing them in classrooms and putting them back in the ocean along our coast to help bring the populations back up. We look forward to partnering with you in the future. Hi, I'm Steve Addison. I'm proposing an aquatic science laboratory. Students will be engaged in hands-on science learning in a local context for the next generation science standards using collaboration with real world science that'll make change in the world. Students will be engaged in growing vegetables in a sustainable way with aquaponics. Students will also be engaged in ocean restoration, growing and releasing abalone into the ocean. Green abalone were once abundant along our coastline. Currently, green abalone are on NOAA's federal species of concern list. Decades ago, hunters removed these delicious snails from our coastline. Today, green abalone are a federally listed species of concern. Ocean restoration is a unique and novel idea, and only a handful of schools in the country are engaged in ocean restoration projects. Brywood Elementary would get to be one of those schools. The local nonprofit Get Inspired Inc. has worked with 42 different schools over the last 20 years. We will be working with founder and marine biologist of Get Inspired Inc., Ms. Nancy Caruso. The students will have an abalone nursery in their classroom. They'll be taking care of this species on a daily basis. It's a federally listed species of concern. So they'll be learning about those designations. They'll be learning about where they live here along the coast, how they disappeared, what kind of ecology um, the, the abalone are part of in our ecosystem here on the Orange County coast, which is the kelp forest, of course. And they'll also be learning water chemistry because they've got to make the ocean in their classroom. They'll be learning about aquaculture because they'll be growing, culturing these animals for release along the coast. And so it brings together pretty much all facets of science in one hands-on project where they can actually get their hands wet. The Aquatic Science Laboratory will give students a chance to learn hands-on about sustainable farming and ocean restoration in an engaging way. All teachers will be able to access the Brywood Science Lab with their classes. Aquaponics is a method of growing both fish and plants within the same system. The waste produced by the fish is used as a source of nutrients for the plants, which maintains a healthy environment for the fish. Kindergarten students will learn about plant needs and also examine fish and also their needs. First graders will focus on variation of traits of vegetables grown in fish living in the aquaponic system. Second graders will collaborate on setting up an investigation involving plant growth. Third graders will investigate how traits are influenced by the environment. For example, the amount of water influencing vegetable growth. Fourth graders will focus on structure and function. As you can see, these students in this picture, this is, these images are also provided by Get Inspired Inc. Fourth graders will also consider plant and animal life cycles. Fifth grade students will find evidence supporting main factors affecting plant growth. They'll also examine ecosystems and the relationships between fish, bacteria, and plants. Sixth graders will design their own system and be able to conduct tests on how environmental factors influence the growth of plants. 
Students will have a chance to be a part of wildlife conservation in the classroom and working with the abalone hands-on. Abalone are kelp forest architects and graze on kelp. This grazing may not seem helpful, but it actually increases kelp diversity by clearing off patches of rocky surfaces so that different types of kelp species can flourish. This increase in kelp diversity leads to an increase of diversity of other animals in the kelp forest. Students in kindergarten will learn about abalone anatomy, the types of algae that they eat. First graders will learn about the variation of traits of abalone. Second graders will observe abalone in the nursery and construct a physical model of a rocky intertidal habitat. Third graders will examine cause and effect relationships of environmental factors that influence abalone growth. For example, how do the types of kelp influence the abalone? Fourth graders will take a look at structure and function. They'll focus on the anatomy of the abalone. Students will also learn about the structures of plants, animals, and algae in a kelp forest. Fifth graders will focus on ecosystems. They'll make observations to develop models of the cycling of matter in the abalone nursery. Students will also be actively involved in monitoring water quality of the abalone tank. Sixth grade students will research factors such as ocean acidification and other factors that have affected the abalone populations. They'll also have a chance to research and develop a conservation plan for abalone along our coast. In participating in projects in the Aquatic Science Laboratory, students will learn hands-on in an innovative way with ocean restoration and sustainable farming. Ocean restoration is a unique and novel idea. There's only a handful of schools that are raising species to be restored in the ocean. The local nonprofit Get Inspired has worked with 42 different schools over the last 20 years. We will be able to continue to work on this project with students in the future years. Students will learn green job skills and aquaponics and can continue their studies at the local community college level where they offer certificate programs. This project involves ocean restoration, green jobs, and collaboration with real world science that's making change in the world. Thank you for considering our project.